Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokey Stray YouTube channel. I am Jordan Benford and today we're back on some PTCGO. I'm going to be taking a look at a really competitive deck uh, with a little bit of an interesting twist on things. A couple of different tech cards that I've added for the Breakpoint series. Um, so this is Minetric Bats which was really strong through the XY to Breakthrough era. Um, it had a lot of high damage output and was really quick and could often be hard to stop this deck. Um, it did lose a bit of steam going into Breakpoint. A lot of people decided that this deck wasn't as good anymore. However, I'm revisiting it. We're going to look over it and see if this deck did gain anything or it can benefit from any cards in Breakpoint. Or if there is an alternative build that can help make it a bit stronger to combat against some of the better Breakpoint cards. Now, looking at this list, I don't play any Breakpoint cards in here. I just play an old regular list with a couple of different interesting things. So, starting off with this Manetric EX, it's got the Overrun attack, which does 20 damage and 22 a bench Pokemon, which is really nice. Uh, spread damage is always good. It uh, just helps us kind of um, put a bit of damage on the board here and there. It's also got Assault Laser, which is the main attack we're going to be using, which does 60, and if your opponent's active Pokemon has a tool card attached to it, 60 more damage does have the weakness to fighting type which is a little iffy um there are a lot of strong uh, fighting types out in testing though I was able to beat a um, guard trump deck I just quickly ran over it they weren't able to get anything set up and it was too quick and they couldn't do anything so um there are a lot of good fighting type Pokemon out there at the moment but I think Manetric can get over most of them with some of the interesting tech cards that I've decided to put in here now moving on we've got our bat line here um, so Crobat and Golbat both have an ability, Golbat first has Sneaky Bite, I've looked at this card before, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon, and then Crobat Surprise Bites put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now these are both incredibly good um, for putting out more damage before you attack, uh, it's fantastic. Um, I play a 4-4-3 line in here, never really need the 4 Crobat, however I do feel like 4 Golbat is almost essential. Um, so yeah, your main a, a objective here, right, is with the Muscle Band Assault Lasers hitting for 140 damage. With a couple of bat drops, you're going to be hitting for the 170 and 180 damage mark. We also play two Shaman in here for setup, and the interesting tech in here is Absol. Now, uh, this is a card that I'm really high on at the moment. I have kind of recently just started picking out of them picking it up and giving it a test and I actually really do enjoy playing this card. There's several uses for this. Um, in a hypothetical scenario you could miss the turn 2 goal out. If you win a second you could overrun 20 and 20. The next turn you can attach the energy but you're going to be 20 damage short if you don't have the goal out. You can drop this thing, move the damage that you did to the 20 on the bench up and a salt laser for a KO on almost every single EX. It's also got several other uses. Um, one of the big ones I've seen is um, first turn, if you overrun with a muscle band, you'll be hitting Shaman for 80. Later on, there might be 30 damage somewhere that you can move on to that Shaman to get a knockout. There's just so many uses for this early game and late game, and I just really enjoy playing in here, so I play one of in here. I also considered playing the one Darkness Energy, um, just for the Trevenant matchup, but I don't really think it matters too much. Maybe I might swap out something for it, but at the moment I'm just happy with the lightning energies. Moving on, we play the one enhanced hammer, just discarding a special energy is great. Um, slowing things down is fantastic. One level vault, would really like to have two in here, but I just don't really know where to cut uh, some space in. We play the one megaphone, I feel like this card is really coming back now. Um, it's either this or Zerasic, I think either one has to be played. This deck's really fast paced, I don't think it's got the room for Zerasic. Whereas Megaphone is a quick drop and it's effective and just as good as Zerasic. Uh, for the one Super Rod, shuffle in uh, a combination of any three Pokemon and energies. Uh, a lot of the times you drop your bats, like your Crobats and Golbats on first turn because you need a Sycamore or something. Happens quite frequently. This is Super Rods just to get them back so we can get them later. Four Super Scoop Ups. I really like having four in here. Uh, flip a coin, if heads pick up a Pokemon, usually you're going to pick up your bat line, but you might even be able to, this is one of the uh, reasons I like the Absol in here, is multiple cursed eye drops a turn. If you can pull it off, you can Absol move three damage counters to something, super scoop up, and like one of the good things about this, right, is if you have to use this over on attack, you can um, hit for 40 and then say you do it twice, so there's 80 and 40 on somewhere else, on a Shaman. Say you put 40 onto a bench, active has 80, you could do Absol once, move 3, super scoop up, 
move another three, and then like an AZ and move another three, get a knockout on that Shaman on the bench, and then you could still Assault Laser, and that Pokemon's still going to have damage on it. So that's why I really like having these Scoop Ups and Absol. It's a great combination. Four Trainers Mail just dealt with the speed of this deck, not that it really needs it, it's so quick. Uh, four Ultra Ball, um, standard, <laughs> there's not much to talk about that, four VSC, because that's standard too. One AZ, really want to bump this up to two, um, I just feel like there's a lot of the times where I need it, and I just don't have it, so I might try and squeeze some room in for another AZ in the future. One Judge, um, I chose this over Birch, for the sole reason of Disruption, I think still great in the format, and usually you can probably hit like an Ultra Ball the Trainer Mail, Scoop Up, Shaman, anything to draw you some more cards, it's not that bad of a card. Two Lysander is just to bring up mainly Shamans or anything that we need to knock out. It's fantastic. Two Professor Sycamore just because it's a good draw. Two Fader Town. Um, one of the decks that Manectric does struggle against is things such as Mega Mewtwo or even Mega Manectric. Uh, those are some pretty tough matchups if you're a bit slow. Fader Town just helps put some more damage out uh, onto those bangers. And honestly, there's not a really a better stadium that you could put in here. You could play the D-Valley, so Crowback can attack for free. I do play quite a high energy count. Honestly, yeah, I think looking at it, I might actually drop the one lightning for a dark energy in the future for the Absol. I might do that before I start the game. Um, three Muscle Band. This is just to hit Overrun for a lot more damage. Um, and, well, yeah, Overrun and Assault Laser. That's a big one. You can also be attached to a Crowbat here. Um, so skill die for 50. Usually you do this if you're going up against Mega Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo or something, hitting for 100, or even just regular Mewtwo hitting for 100 is nice. Three head ringers. This is really a high number um, in Manetric bats. I usually see two. Um, I have wanted to play the third just because I feel like there's going to be a lot of Megas running around. There's a lot of big EX Pokemon like Toad and Tina and. Jolteon, all those things that can really slow us down a bit. You can just head ring them and it's going to take even longer. A Jolteon can now, if, by the time a Jolteon gets set up, if it's got a head ring on it, Manetric's just going to be able to lie and knock it down anyway. So um, it's great um, having three in here. Seven Lightning, before I start, I'm going to drop this to six Lightning and one Dark, just so I can attack with Absol if I really need to. I don't think there is. And also it doesn't really matter playing the extra energy just because like, this is colorless. If Overrun was lightning, I wouldn't worry about it, but because it um, is colorless, you can play a one-up of any energy that you really like. So I'm going to drop that for a dark before we start. Alrighty, so let's jump in and give a, this one a try in a couple of games. Alrighty, so I swapped out one lightning for a dark here. I do see Psychic in dark, so I'm not too sure what to expect from my opponent. Maybe like Evil's Hole, Zoroark, Mewtwo, but I don't know why they want to play Shaman. Uh, we will go first. We'll see what my opponent's playing shortly, I guess. Could even be Dark Ray Hypno. That's a likely um, deck that it could be. Ooh, this hand kind of sucks. We're starting Zubat. If it's Dark Ray, though... Hmm. I can't remember if I was going first. Alrighty, so... I mean, we do have the Sycamore, so that's not too bad. It is Dark Ray. First of all, I'm just going to head ring of this thing. Uh, that is the number one thing I want to do. I kind of want to attach the energy just because I can scoop this thing up. I'm not going to get knocked out first turn. So we should be fine. And then I just have to stick more. Oh, thank God I play uh, Super Rod in here. My hand that I draw off it isn't very good at all. I'm just going to train as mail. We see Scoop Up. I don't even think I want to play it. Grab that. Um, no, I'm just going to take nothing here and pass turn. That is not a great start for me. So yeah, I'm going up against the Dark Ride Zoroark Hypno. I don't know if they play the Zoro. They definitely play the Hypno. There is the Drowsy. I'm going to see Trainer's Mail now for a shorter. Interesting card to play. Dark goes down onto the Dark Rai and a Shauna. So one of the great things about having a Head Ringer down on this thing is that it's not going to be able to put a Fighting Fury Belt and give this thing 220 HP. If a tool doesn't go down on this, I'm going to be able to Head Ringer this one as well, which is ideal. Uh, Fighting Fury Belt does go down, however, which is a shame. I could potentially... No, there's no point in me Megaphoning next turn. I'm just going to be a Seeker for Sycamore and play it. Uh, that is, of course, unless something else crazy happens. Now, yeah, I'm going to have to discard another Lightning, which is a shame. Unless I top deck the Manetric or an Ultra Ball, that'd be great. So I actually don't feel like my opponent plays the Zoroark build in here. Oh, I'm going to be dropping so many Lightning Energies. But I kind of am forced to at this point. 
So this will be my third lightning energy in the deck, meaning uh, that I've run through. I've got one here, so that means I've got two left in deck. And wow, I whip everything I needed. Oh man. That sucks. Well, I can super odd, which is great. I'm going to shuffle back in a... Uh, actually, no, I'll get the gold back before I get the crow back. And two lightning or just a lot? Mm. I'm debating whether I need that crowbat or not, and I feel like I will need it later on in the game, so unfortunately I can only shuffle back in one energy. And apart from that, all I can do is really... Hmm, I shouldn't have attached the muscle man, that was a dumb move. I can play... I don't bother playing the third town. So, I shouldn't have played the muscle band. I'm just going to do the 10 here. Um, I could have just attacked the bench. I don't think it matters too much. I kind of have a feeling that my opponent doesn't have much. They do have the Max Elixir. Hopefully they whiff on that. They do. Thank goodness. We're going to see the Hypno. They can put both of us asleep. And I actually am glad that I decided to shuffle back in my Crobat. Okay, so I wake up. My opponent wakes up. Fantastic. So my opponent's got nothing. I've got a lot of things. Do I play the Shaman here? I think I will. Um, just in case I draw into com a couple of things that I need. So here we go. We're going to see Trainer's Mail and Golbat. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so we can go Trainer's Mail straight away. We'll take the Ultra Ball. That's fantastic. This is like everything I wanted right now. So, I don't really know where I want to put this 20 from the Golbat. Um, I think I'll probably just go to the active. We can Ultra Ball away the Faded Town and the Headringer just because I'm going to be sick of mooring away this turn, so it doesn't really matter. So we can grab our Manetric here. Put that one down onto the bench. We're a bit late to get it, but better late than never. So we'll just Sneaky Bite to the... Ac actually... You know what, I'm going to go to this bench dark Darkrai. Alrighty, so now we can Veer Seeker for the Sycamore. I just really have to hope that my opponent doesn't draw into anything. I'm going to be able to easily knock this thing out within a couple of turns, so that's all fine. We get the other goal back now, I think. Uh, I'm just going to put this down to 180 because I do have the Crobat there. Uh, I'm going to go for a Super Scoop Up. We do flip heads. I'm going to pick up this one. I solely did that just to get the muscle band back, which I don't know, it could have been the wrong move, but I don't think it matters too much. We can put back down the Zubat. I'd like to grab another Zubat this turn if possible. Uh, do I scoop up with a Shaman or do I just Ultra Bowl away things? Uh, what do I do? Um, I can't see it hurting if I go for the Shaman here. Ah, we missed, so that's alright. I probably should have kept it just so I could, uh, use multiple bats. Now I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Now do I take a Zubat? Do I take a Shaman? I think I take the Shaman just so I have some options for next turn. Don't relying off a top deck. Uh, so we sh can Shaman to draw four cards. I really want to get another Zubat into play this turn if possible. I do have the resources in there. Mm, we don't draw it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the bench space open. I might be able to get an Absol drop next turn which would be great if that works. Alrighty so yeah, if I can get the Absol drop, I can move 30 up onto this, which will put it up to 80. Then I only need to hit for 100. Well, actually, I don't even need to do that. I can actually move 30 off of this one onto this one, which is going to be great. I think. Yeah, I can do that. Um, but I just have to drop a goal bat onto it. That's fine. Alright, so I've got heaps of options for next turn. We're going to see Lysander, though. I do have AZ in hand. That's all good. They're going to put me to sleep. So even that they did do that... I do kind of have the edge, as I am going to be able to AZ myself this turn. Alrighty, so I just need to do a little bit of math right now. So, we've got 130 on them, I hit for 140. So, I can... Is this even saving any damage? Yeah, it is. It's going to save me 10 damage if I do it this way. So basically, what I do is I put 20 here. That'll put it up to 170, then it'll go down to 140, then I can hit for 140. Fantastic amount of damage. Okay, this is perfect. Yes, so what we're going to do is move the damage on this one off onto here. Bumping this up to 90 damage, which is great. 
uh, lightning down here. I can crowbat now. I don't see the harm in not doing it. This will put it up to 120, leaving it with only 100 HP left. Actually, I probably could have gone to that, now that I think about it. That was probably the wrong move. However, I could possibly play the Absol again later. So we're going to be able to put up this Minnet trick. I can shame it again to draw four. Alrighty, that's not too bad. My opponent concedes. Alrighty, so we'll jump in and have another game. That kind of showed off the power of the deck a little bit. Um, Alright, so I'll jump in and have another one. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to lose the flip. That sucks. Doesn't matter too much as long as I can get the first time in that trick, I'll be fine. Um, ideally, I'd like to go first. My opponent's going to like to go first, however. That's all cool. And we are going to start Zubat. Oh, this hand is not good. Hmm. Unless I can get the head ringer, I can probably attach energy. I don't really want to attach energy to Zubat. I'm just going to have to see what I can do. We do play the scoop up, so it's not too bad starting this as the, the Zubat. As long as I can pick it up and go into a Manetric, I'll be good. However, just looking at my hand, um, I'm not too keen on getting the... Like, I don't feel like I'm going to be able to get the Manetric straight away. We'll give it a shot anyway and see what I can do. Uh, my opponent is selecting their starting Pokemon. We don't have any. Well, we do have the Shaman. I don't want to play the Shaman, obviously. And we're going first. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is head ring of this. Uh, that is, like, the number one thing I can do against Mewtwo. I'm going to Shaman for one. Um, if I draw into an Ultra Ball and Renetric, I will be great. We see Trainers now. Come on, Ultra Ball. Faded Town. This is fantastic, actually, in here. Um, this is going to give me a slight edge, because I assume it's Mega, Manetri, uh, Mega Mewtwo. It sucks that I have to play now, but I'm probably going to wind up sick and I'm going to go for a Super Scoop. Heads, we can shame it into two more. We're just really digging out this Manetric right now, so I can attach the Dark Energy to it. But we'll see how we go. Don't get the cards I need, so I'm just going to end up sycamoring it away. That is unfortunate. Still didn't really get the cards I need, but it's not too bad. Um, we can Ultra Bowl away. Head... Ah, I shouldn't have Ultra Bowled. Uh, Head Ringer and Super Scoop. I kind of have to do that. Uh, we can take the Minute Trick. I do have VS Seeker for next turn anyway, so that's going to be all fine. I'm just going to pass with the Zubat. They're not going to be able to knock me out, which is all cool. Alrighty. So it does suck when I miss that first turn energy attachment. Otherwise, this Mega, uh, this Mewtwo could be looking at a potential knockout. Um, as long as... Okay, so this is a really careful match that you have to really think about what you're doing before you go into playing this against this deck. Because damage change can be really, really mean when you're playing against a Mega Mewtwo deck. You have to be very careful and calculating what you're going to do. Do I play the other Manetric? I don't think I will, honestly. Usually you can get away with playing one Manetric a game or even just the second one. I, honestly, Manetric can last a long time on the field, surprisingly. So we get two bats down, that's fine. But we just have to put it onto the active. I actually do miss the energy attachment as well, which is crazy. Um, probably because I have they discarded two, so I'm just gonna super odd now. We can shuffle back into Golbat and the energies. Yeah, we'll get back both energies. And then I'm just forced to pass turn. Again, missing that energy drop. Next turn, if my opponent doesn't do anything, I can look at a potential... 130, 40... No, it won't be a knockout. I'll be just shy of a knockout. But let's see what my opponent has. Do they have anything? Or are they just going to scattershot me here for 60? They don't even decide to scattershot, which is strange. We do draw into the dark energy. Fantastic. Golbat here, I actually probably should have put it onto the Golbat now that I think about it, that would have potentially, yeah, if I, yeah, that was a misplay, uh, I should have just gone to the Crobat, if I would have drawn a uh, Muscle Band off this, then I would have won the game, um, no, we didn't draw the Muscle Band, I think I'll just go Zubat, and my opponent really doesn't have anything, so absolutely at this point, pretty irrelevant, I'm just going to Ultra Ball, I'll take another Golbat, just to put 30 more down here, um, oh, Crobat, sorry. And then I can just retreat. I actually... 
I actually won't do that because I know I'm gonna get damage change next turn. Actually, they can't. Uh, they might have double colors. See, this is the tough thing about playing this deck. I'm just gonna pass turn because if they had the double colors, then they would have been able to like potentially do a bit more. Otherwise, I would have just retreated. Okay, so we're gonna see the crushing out. Damn it. That makes things a bit difficult. Zero sick away my muscle land. Okay. Don't think they have anything else though. Pass turn. So we can still win this turn with a bit of luck and some good draws here. Alright, so we're gonna go 30 down onto the Mewtwo. 20 down onto the Mewtwo. So at this point, all I would be needing, even if I had the Muscle Band and the Energy, all I would need is one Golbat off the Sycamore for seven. All we need is a couple of cards, and wow, we whiffed them. Uh, actually... Do I win, or...? Not quite. I don't quite win. Alright, so we can go the Golbat. I need a Muscle Band down. So I can train as male. If I see muscle band I win. There we, there we go, the muscle band. Alrighty, so now we can just get muscle band to well we you know what? I actually just realized that I won with the energy, so you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go muscle band onto the goal bat, energy onto the goal bat, retreat, and then I'm gonna sweep across with goal bat. I realized I won the game just then like I could have just attached a Crobat, but I dragged it out, and I kind of feel bad for that, but at least we got to see some Golbat sweep across action. Alrighty, we'll give it one more go, just to see if we can get another good game. Alrighty, and here we go with game number two with this Minetric Bat stack. I saw Water and Colorless. I'm thinking Greninja Break. Um, however, you're never too sure on PTCGO. It could, for all I know, be a Gyarados deck. We'll find out, I guess. Alright, so we're going to start Zubat. So I actually haven't had a good start. What did I start with last turn, last game? Was it... Did I start Zubat last game? I can't even remember. And I don't even have that good of a hand. Hmm. We see Remoraid, yeah. I'm assuming it's Greninja. Uh, the colors will be Miltank. I think I might have said that was Shaman, but that's silly of me. Ah, oh, my opponent just passes. Okay, so we get the Minetric. That's one piece of the puzzle. <laughs> then I'm just going to stick them all. Um, I can't actually get a knockout on this thing this turn. I can do a couple of things though. Like Zubat. Level ball for Zubat. If my opponent passes again, then I'll win next turn. I should win next turn unless I'm incredibly unlucky. Trainer's mail. To scoop up, yeah. I don't see why not. Maybe we can just get this Zubat out of the active position. I don't think it matters, but we will do it anyway. Put up the Minetric. I do have the one Golbats, but, you know, I don't think it matters. We can just pass now. If nothing happens, I win. I'll just... Well, I should win. Like, all I need is either two more Golbats off my Sycamore or an Energy and a Muscle Land. So they can iron pull to do nothing. Uh, we're gonna see the sycamore here. So interesting that they didn't do that last turn. So they do play the shaman in here. Okay. I don't see. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe it's just a one-off. But I assume they will probably also play the mill tank. We're gonna see the trainer's mail for nothing. Trainer's mail for mm, probably nothing again. Uh, no, the floats then that makes sense. All right. So what they're trying to do right now is just lower their hand size to use. Octillery's Abyssal Hand. We're gonna see the Dive Ball. I might still be able to take a knockout on this thing. Um, depending on how lucky I draw. Or I could actually target down Froki, and I think I will target down Froki. It's gonna be more of a threat to me. Late game, so I really wanna get these Frokies out of the way as quickly as possible. So that's what I'll do. Alright, so I can get Golbat, 20 damage, down onto this. All I need is 40 damage on this, and then I can overrun to do the extra 20. We will shame in a draw three, so if I see a goal bat, we're going to be good. I don't see the goal bat. My opponent concedes. Fair enough. Um, Alright, we've got time. We'll have one more quick game with this deck. And here we are with our last game. That looks like Night March. Uh, Night March Bronze on the best we're playing. This is not easy. 
So I need to go first. If I don't go first, I crud. Um, if I don't go first, then I pretty much lose. I need to get all my bats down. First turn, so... No, they're gonna let me go first, so they are playing that much. Sometimes Nightmatch Night March players will let me go first, and that's great when they, that happens. The reason you want to go first here is so you can get... Basically, what I need to do in Night March matches is four Zubats on the bench, turn one. If I don't get four Zubats, then I pretty much lose. It is a very iffy matchup though, um, it's not easy to play, not easy to play against, and my opening hand sucks. So, yeah, um, if I don't top deck anything, then I'm, I'm going to lose this game. There's no doubt about that. Oh my goodness. I am going to lose this game. Um, I can already foresee my inevitable death against the all-powerful Night March. Although my opponent's start isn't great, they don't have a Night March active, but they do play like Float Stones and Insane Draw Power. Man, uh, this is a, a iffy game for both players, it's like, it's always close. So the Metal Energy is going to the Combi, which makes me feel like they don't have much. So I'm not going to get knocked out straight away. And they, no, they're definitely playing that much. I was going to say they could actually be playing something different, but because of the uh, Dimension Valley down, I feel like, yeah. So they are playing the Nightmatch. They're going to go into the Shaman. That's an interesting choice. So my opponent clearly does not have anything. Wow. I'm just going to Lysander Bronzong and head ring a shaman and end turn wow I, I probably should have played Fader Town then at, on, in hindsight um, that would have been a wise thing for me to do my opponent's plan I think then was to sky return their shaman so they could reuse it because I have a feeling that they don't have anything <laughs> um, but then not alone so next time I'll definitely bounce this dimension valley it's stupid for me to leave it up there we could get tackled for nothing we're just going to retreat into shaman again Gonna see Bronzong. Okay, so this kind of makes a little bit more sense. Um, all right. So if I don't top deck a Sycamore, then um, I think that'll probably be my last. <laughs> well, actually, there's no nine marches in discard, so maybe if I'm lucky, maybe. Um, I'm gonna see the Metal Links probably go onto the Pump Kaboo. No, it goes onto the combi. Alrighty. We do top deck the sycamore. Thank goodness. Now just give me some good jaws. That's all I need, is some good cards from off, off this. Zubat, Zubat. Oh, thank goodness for this hand. Um, this is actually a really good hand for me. Now I want to keep the Golbat in hand, so I unfortunately have to drop two energies. But I'm going to be able to grab a... I could even grab it. No, I'll grab the Shaman. That's silly to grab another bat. So I've got plenty of bats left in deck. I only have the one Shaman in deck. So if this is my only Shaman for the game, I really want to get two more bats down this turn, if possible. Uh, we don't see two more bats. That's okay. I can just overrun. Put the 20 here because then I can goal bat damage, knock this thing out. Um, if it does pose a threat. My opponent hasn't done anything for turn, so I'm assuming that they're just not getting anything. So, what would usually be a really... If you, why didn't they play that earlier? There's the Hex. That's frustrating. If they decide to play it, obviously. You know, Metal Links. They probably will. I don't see why you wouldn't play it. Um, I haven't ever discarded a go back yet. Double colors onto the shaman, they can't even sky return though. So next turn I can take a three prize card turn. If they don't hex, I can take more. Gonna retreat into the combi. I mean it would make sense for them to hex, yeah. <laughs> So, Bear Seeker for probably Hex, yeah. 
But what I'm actually going to do is I am actually going to evolve on Zubat. Um, I know full well that it's not going to do any damage. And if I see Lysander, damn. <laughs> I was really hoping for the Lysander there. I'm actually going to go Lightning Energy on here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I can use um, Skill Dive with this, um, with Golbat. So they're probably just going to Hex Loop me for a couple of turns, which is all fine and dandy. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, I am tempted just to leave this. No, we're just going to attack. I was tempted to just leave it because my opponent really hasn't got anything. And this is just fueling their Vespiquins attack, but it's only one Pokemon. And there's another scooper. So, either my opponent's getting some really bad draws or they're playing a really inconsistent build of Night March because, wow, this is just like, what, their fourth turn? They haven't done anything? They're going up into a combi here. So even if they hit the Vesper Queen, I'm just going to be able to one-shot it. Well, actually it won't be because they'll Hex. They're going to retreat into the Shaman. I'm going to start to target this Pumpkaboo. This is easy prize cards, right? That's no problem right there. Uh, actually... Yeah, um... Kind of want to hit the second uh, the Lysander. I'm going to gun for the Lysander this turn. I'm going to go here. I'm trying to get it. I've got the scoop up. I've got the Ultra Bottle on my hand. I've got everything I need. Level ball. I may as well get another back down. Actually, no. I was hoping that was another Zuba that I could put to bench. We have the scoop up. Heads, pick up Shaman. Go for another scoop up. Just to lower my hand. Heads, pick up Zubat. Um, play Zubat. Just to lower my hand to the maximum amount I can. I am going to even play the Startling Megaphone. Uh, solely because I'm going to knock this out irregardless of what they play. Ooh. Yes. I'm a genius. <laughs> um, my Absol that I play, it doesn't have an ability though, so I probably should have known that. Um, so Here I am thinking I'm a genius. My Shaman doesn't even have an ability, so I probably should have thought that through. So... I'm just gonna pass turn. They haven't had anything, so as long as the top deck is in a sick mall, I think I made the right choice there. Um, there's no reason for me to hit such a high amount of damage on the Shaman where I can move damage off and get like a two prize card, three prize card. Hypothetically, I could win next turn. Uh, if my opponent doesn't have a hex, then I will probably most likely win next turn. Um, well actually thinking about it and <laughs> maybe I can't win next turn but there's a lot more options I have I just need to decide where I want to put my three from the Absol down because it's kind of always putting them on here so I might actually put them on the pumpkin boo then if I get the Golbat and a Crobat so yeah, this is what I'm going to do, potentially hitting a 4 prize card turn if my Shaman's any good. Because I have 20 cards. So if I get Crobat, Golbat, then I'm going to be sitting pretty. Uh, so we see, yeah, there we have it. I think this basically means that I'll probably win this game. So I'm going to be able to hit that for the knockout. Drawing one card, one prize. Head ringer doesn't bother me. So we can go this down on here. Uh, there's not even any point to play. I may as well attach an energy to Absol just in case Pumpkaboo. I don't see it happening. We can overrun for the knockout and also take out this Kirby while we're here. So I actually win next turn. There's a Golbat. I actually probably could have 
spread the damage onto the bronze zone. But I don't think it matters. Like, let's see if my opponent top decks something amazing. But six to one prizes. Float zone shaman. How long has that shaman been sitting in their hand? <laughs> So even now thinking about it, I think we've got the VSC for the line sander. Tempted to just do bat damage though. Can I win with bats next turn? I sure can. I'm also actually tempted to do a uh, good old match claw, but I don't think I'll get the dark out. I think I just got a dark, yeah I did. So I'm very tempted to win the game with bat damage. Um by doing this, I've got the two Ultra Balls, I can just, well, yeah, this has got 50 HP, so as long as this doesn't evolve, I'm going to be able to do that damage. We are going to see a fully powered up Pumpkaboo. Not hitting for very much through Night Lodge, unless they draw, like, they need either, oh, they do, they've got the, the, they've got the double colors, so they just need a Dimension Valley, uh, not Dimension Valley, uh, like, three Battle Compressors, and would have been fine. I'm gonna be a sick of Hex, I've already AZ'd this turn, so Hex is basically irrelevant. So what is my opponent gonna do? They pretty much have to retreat into Bronzong to have any chance of survival. Um, I, I'm assuming they're gonna concede though. Like I just have this feeling that I'm like 3, 2, 1. Nope. <laughs> Alright, um, are they going to retreat into Shaman? Well, that was dumb. Like, that's just, they're asking me to knock him out, but we all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ultra Ball, away Ultra Ball, and Manetric. I really hope I get a Crobat in here. I do. Take the Crobat. Golbat. Onto the Bronzong. And then we can use Golbats. Good old sneaky bite to knock out the bronze ore. There we go. Hope this video wasn't too long for you all. That is my Minetric Bats with Absol Tech. I really am enjoying playing Absol in a lot of different decks. I've, I haven't tested it in real life and I think I will start to. But um, I've been testing Absol a lot online and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you all for watching as always. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel and head over to our Facebook page and give us a like there. See you in the next video.